Bootcamp between JavaScript algos and data structures. We're in the regular expressions course on challenge two of 33. So we actually did, in fact, complete that one, and we are on two of 33. Okay, so we're going to match literal strings today. So in the last challenge, we searched for the word hello with the regular expression forward slash hello forward slash. Okay, that regex search for the literal match of the string capital H E L L O, hello. There's another example. Here's another example for searching for a literal match of the string Kevin. So you can see we have our string that we're actually going to search through, and then we have our regex expression, forward slash Kevin, forward slash, that's the expression. And then we call the expression, the dot test method on the expression, and pass it the string that we want to test. The test call will return true. So this expression is, re is equal to true because it returns true. So this is true. All right, so any other forms of Kevin will not match. So you can see, for example, the regex forward slash capital K Kevin will not match lowercase k Kevin or all caps Kevin. So let wrong regex equals lowercase Kevin. And now it's false because we did not account for caps. So uh, the future challenge will show us how to account for all of these different cases where case doesn't matter, case does matter, so on and so forth. Right now, all we want to do is search for a literal match. Okay, so we're going to complete the regex Waldo regex to find the string capital W Waldo in the string Waldo is watching. So Waldo is watching, or Waldo is hiding, I'm sorry. Waldo is hiding is our string. It says somewhere Waldo is hiding in this text. So now we have to create a regex to search for this word Waldo. So you can see they filled it with just the word search here. Our job is to plug in whatever we need to to actually make it find this word. So this is pretty self-explanatory at this point. Um, once we get to deeper lessons and challenges, this is going to get much more difficult and we're going to have to learn a lot more different symbols and characters and selectors. But as of right now, it's, it's literal. It's matching literal strings. So if we want to find the word capital W Waldo, we just have to look for the expression. Our expression just needs to be forward slash capital W Waldo forward slash. So let's just do that. Waldo like that between the forward slashes and that's our expression to search for a literal match. Okay, so whatever is between the forward sla slashes, that's the literal match that we're looking for. So now we should get back our result should be true because again, the result is equal to this method call, which if you didn't see the last lesson, definitely go back and watch my last lesson, which is actually the first lesson of this entire section, where I break down the fact that when you get, when you have a method, like a dot test method, which is really a function, you can see test, this is the function call, it's just a built-in method. When you have a method or function that returns data, which test, as we know, returns to us true or false, when you assign that method call or that function call to a variable, you're assigning the variable to whatever this function returns. So we know test returns true or false. And now we're searching for this capital W Waldo within this string and it exists. So a result should be true. If we run this code, okay, it passes. Let's actually console.log result like we did in the last one. And we can see it's true because yes, this string does in fact pass the test. It does in fact contain whatever this expression is looking for, which is this word, right? If we wanted to find the word is with all lowercase is cap or lowercase i s, that's true as well because it contains it, right? But if I is like that, that's now false because this literal expression between the forward slashes is nowhere in this string. Even though a substring of it is, this is a literal match method or expression when we use just the forward slashes and what we want to match between them. That's a literal match. So I have to say Waldo and it's true because there's an exact match. There's not a lowercase Waldo match. As you can see, there's just a capital W Waldo match, which is a literal test. Okay, so that's all we had to do for that one. Uh, very simple as of right now, we definitely are going to grow in complexity here and start searching and uh, looking for much more complex expressions. So I hope to see you guys in the next challenge. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I'll do my best to get back to you. See you guys in the next video.